remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder treason and blood. I see no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. On November the 5th, 1605, Guy Fawkes attempted to blow the British Parliament. His hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice and freedom are not just the words, these are perspectives. This story inspired the creators of the movie V for Vendetta. Its action takes place not far from now, like 30 years, in Great Britain, where the worst Orwellian dreams from the book 1984 came true. The country is ruled by fascist regime and the society is controlled by mass surveillance and secret police. You may say that's just fiction, nothing like this is going to happen because we are living in a quite liberal democracy, but you're wrong. We are approaching a dark future where our every communication is recorded, stored away, ready to be used by authorities against our will. ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union, created something called surveillance clock. This shows how far we are from genuine surveillance society. This is an example from the United States. And it's only five minutes, only 24 hour scale from that to happen. Here are milestones on this road. Gray one are technology milestones like fingerprint analysis, DNA analysis, satellite CCTV cameras, Google, and the brighter one are the policy milestones like DNA databases, Patriot Act in the United States, NSA, terrorist surveillance program. And as we can see, the pace of this is still accelerating. How it looks in different countries around the world. Privacy International surveyed 47 countries <coughs> on the surveillance matters. And eight of them were called endemic surveillance societies. It's not a surprise that among these countries are Russia and China, but what's surprising and also said that among these countries are also United States and United Kingdom. Two countries which are like symbols and defenders of freedom and democracy. And now they are among the bad guys, going hand in hand with China and Russia. What is even more distressful is that the situation from year to year is going worse. Only one country, Slovenia, improved from one year to another, and only one country in Europe, which is Greece, provides adequate protection to her citizens against abuse. The situation in the United States got worse, and in the United Kingdom, unfortunately the United Kingdom is since here is one of the leading countries in mass surveillance. Let's look at some other examples. In 2005, European Union passed Data Retention Directive, DI Directive. And by this law, all telecommunication operators are obliged to store all telecommunication data and, if necessary, give them at the disposal of governments. Neither warrant nor any investigation or suspicions are required to access this data. <coughs> USA, so-called land of the brave and the home of the free, probably not that much anymore. After 9-11, when United States began their war of terror, excuse me, I mean of course war of terror, <laughs> Bush's administration forced so-called Patriot Act, which allowed NSA, National Security Agency, to ac access and <coughs> and check every every email, every phone, every phone call, and also access to 
medical and financial reports of every citizen and every company. We also, without any warrant, any investigation, any proof. And what is also interesting is that U.S. Constitution guarantees the right to have a gun, but not the, does not guarantee rights to privacy. And not to be political, both Democrats and Republicans voted for Patriot Act. And United Kingdom, once pioneer, once pioneer in imposing civil liberties, like Great Charter of Freedom from the 13th century, also one of the first countries to abolish slavery, now is unfortunately a pioneer in mass surveillance. I have data from 2002 and there were 4.2 million CCTV cameras in UK. The Oyster card, which Londoners use to commute, can be also used to track down every every communication of every individual. And there are also efforts to track down the roads of every every vehicle within the UK. And 28 government departments have access to this data also without any any warrant, any anything, just because they want they can have it. To conclude, internet is great, technology is great, but nowadays governments beginning to use this in a very nasty way. How would you call if someone, some person who spy on you, read your emails, listen to your phone calls? Pervert? A stalker perhaps? Not so long ago, Poland also had a big red brother in the East. And during the Olympics, 1984 in Moscow, one of the Polish athletes showed them what he thinks of this. So if we are offered to trade off our civil liberties, our right to privacy, our freedom for the illusion of safety, my answer to all these governments who would like to protect us from terrorists and sex predators would be as simple as that. <laughs>